I can't tell you how many phone calls I get from people telling me that they can't bleed the brakes or they got a spongy pedal and they bled it for hundreds of hours and wasted tons of fluid. Well, this is what you do. You see the little holes? That one there and that one there. Those are called emergency bleed ports. And what those ports do is they do two things. One is they equalize the pressure, the ambient atmospheric pressure in the brake lines and where you are at that time, either in the mountains or down on the beach. The second thing they do is they let little bits of air out that are trapped in the master cylinder that cannot make it out of the brake lines. <clears throat> so when you're driving down the road and your brakes start going on by themselves, usually it's because the hole's clogged or because the brake booster is not adjusted correctly and you shouldn't have adjusted it to begin with if you change the master cylinder, but people like to do that. So what happens is when the brakes get hot, the fluid expands, it can't make its way out of those little holes and then the brakes apply themselves and the brakes get hot and then you got problems. Second thing is, is you know, like I said about those little holes, so what you got to do is if you have that problem, get a turkey baster and suck the fluid out of the master cylinder and take a little wire like this, it should be about 20 thousandths in diameter, and then you stick it down inside that hole and clear the hole out, okay? It's not going to rip any seal or anything unless the seal was parked behind that hole. So you take that little wire, like a bread tie or a, or, um, a wire that comes on a, a tag that you tag apart with, and then now you don't have to suck as much fluid out. This master cylinder is new. But I'm just trying to make a point. And then you you stick it in the hole, and then you clear it out. Because sometimes it gets clogged, or if it's new, maybe it got closed back up when it was machined, and that happens quite often. That's why that's why every master cylinder that we sell, the GM licensed master cylinders, we check every hole before it's shipped. But it doesn't mean that it's not going to get clogged. The second, the the thing to check is is to make sure it percolates. So when it does have fluid, you got to make sure that the uh, master cylinder percolates. Like it squirts you in the eye when someone puts their foot on the pedal. If it's not percolating, it's clogged. So you that that really helps a lot. If you have any more problems, you can call us.